master cheese, you do not live here. Yeah, my crab, yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Devin and welcome to another episode of Making Your Data Pack Ideas. Special thanks to my Discord moderator for this episode's data pack idea, Cheese Making. Uh, so, cheese making is a special process where we can make a unique kind of Minecraft food, cheese. Um, different kinds of cheese will have different kinds of special effects. Let's get started on how to make some cheese. So, to start making your cheese, you're going to want bacteria, specifically mesophilic bacteria. And the way to get it is by going over to dirt and digging it up like so. Uh, mesophilic bacteria has a similar drop rate uh, and... Uh, activity or just uh, functionality to gravel and flint. So if you have a fortune shovel like I do, you have a 100% chance to get your mesophilic bacteria. But that's not sustainable. If you want to sustainably create mesophilic bacteria, you can actually farm beetroot with your bull. Uh, you'll collect the material with the bull um, to get uh, the bacteria more sustainably. If you don't use it, uh, you won't get the bacteria. So, once you have your bacteria, you're going to want to get another bull, or maybe you just use the bull you were already using, milk a cow, and go over to a cauldron. Make sure to put the cauldron above a campfire, then toss in your bacteria, milk, and a bowl. Then, you'll get your coagulated curdles right here. So, when you have your coagulated curdles, you're almost there to being able to make your cheese, but you're going to need a cheese barrel. So, let's show you how to make a cheese barrel. So to make your cheese barrel, you just place a barrel like so, and then you're going to want to get a wooden shovel. This will be your spoon for stirring the cheese, then you toss it on the barrel. Uh, you'll know it's worked when it renames the barrel to cheese barrel. Now all you have to do is take your coagulated curdles and place it inside the cheese barrel. Now after about 10 minutes, you will receive your cheese. Now there are three different types of cheese you can get. There's a small chance for strange cheese, a fair chance for good cheese and a very small chance for luxury cheese. Each of these cheeses have different uses and effects. So we're going to see the cheese uh, curdles turn into cheese in just a second here. Uh, like three, two, one, like so. You'll see those particles come up and then the loot table will decide which cheese you get. So here we've gotten strange cheese. Uh, let's go over how and how or what each of these cheeses uh, do when you so, let's start with strange cheese. When you eat strange cheese, you can probably tell it's the rotten flesh base item and we get withered for about 10 seconds. Uh, so, probably don't want to eat any of those. Uh, let's go ahead and heal back up. Uh, if we eat good cheese, no additional effects. Uh, it's just a decent uh, source of food. It'll heal as much as the base item pumpkin pie does. Um, four haunches of your hunger bar, or rather, eight hunger points. Uh, luxury cheese is where you want to be, though. So let's take some damage uh, and get our hunger bar down. There we go. Uh, and then we'll eat the luxury cheese. Notice we get instant health effect as well as absorption level 2, so 4 hearts of uh, additional temporary health. Um, but yeah, that is just about it, guys. Uh, that is cheese making, uh, the cheese making data pack. As always, download is in the description. If you like the video, uh, make sure to leave a like and do subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Uh, I tried something different with the intro, and uh, I think it was pretty cool. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. But yeah, that is it, everybody. I'll catch you later.